टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर्स ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल पीस ऑफ राइटिंग वेटिंग फॉर अ विजा इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल लुक एट द आउटलाइन ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द वेटिंग फॉर विजा लाइफ एंड वर्क्स ऑफ डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर एज वेल एज लिटरेरी जीनियस of dr ambedkar we'll have introduction to waiting for visa as well as we will cover all the six parts of this autobiographical prose written by dr b r ambedkar and at last we will conclude the presentation let us see that dr ambedkar was a great genius he is one of the people those who have lifted the mankind and that is why the government of india has bestowed upon him its highest civilian award that is bharat ratna we all know him as an eminent lawyer he was a barrister he was an economist he was an educationist dr ambedkar was such a man wherever he entered he excelled in the field he is also known as social reformer and we have a reformist movement called ambedkar movement across the country he is considered as the architect of indian constitution he was the first law minister of india and he is also known as eminent public speaker his speeches are famous he talked for the his own people the common masses as well as student community and the politicians all over the world dr ambedkar is regarded as leader of the masses we can get more information about dr b r ambedkar by reading his biographies written by dhananjay kheer and vasant moon here you can find that dr baba saheb ambedkar was an eminent person you take any field of life or study and you will find that dr ambedkar has contributed to it significantly for the students of law he was an eminent lawyer or law maker for the students of political science history and sociology they will study him from that perspective for us the students of literature we just need to look at him as a literary genius he was known for his remarkable prose style we also know he is famous for his speeches he wrote many books chief among them are annihilation of caste which was published in 1936 gandhi and emancipation of the untouchables published in 1943 what congress and gandhi have done to the untouchables was published in 1945 as well as his famous book include who were the shudras though it was not discussed earlier uh, waiting for visa is dr ambedkar's exercise in autobiography though he could not complete his autobiography uh, as a whole life journey but in his short write up he has shared some of his as well as other people's experiences regarding the problem of untouchability in the contemporary indian society in its preface dr ambedkar says that his intention in writing this book called waiting for visa was to give foreigners an idea about the manners in which untouchables were treated by the high caste hindus the book is divided into 
six parts. These six parts they respectively share the six different experiences or stories about untouchability in Indian society. The very first part talks about the immense discrimination on a journey to Goregao in Satara. Here Dr. Ambedkar narrates the whole journey through the bullock cart or night to or go to his father along with his siblings and how the high caste Hindu cart operator discriminated with him. The second part deals with the deep divides that existed in Baroda and how they forced Dr. Ambedkar to leave Baroda and return to Bombay. This is regarding how Parsi people also discriminated the lower caste people and Dr. Ambedkar had to leave Badoda and come back to Mumbai because of the untouchability issues. The third part of waiting for visa covers an embarrassing incident that occurred to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar in the village of Chalisga. The small time Tangawalas in Chalisga, they also could not pay respect to such a highly educated barrister of India and they treated him as a low caste man. This incident also moved Dr. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar. The fourth part of waiting for visa tells us how even the Muslims treated untouchables as the lower caste. This is an incidence from Dr. Ambedkar's life when he was there at Aurangabad. His team decided to visit the Daulatabad fort and there how they were mistreated by the, peop the Muslim people who were there at the fort by blaming them for pollution of the water tank. In the fifth part, Dr. Ambedkar refers to a letter that was published in Young India, a magazine which was edited by Mahatma Gandhi. In that letter, a Harijan, the lower caste person, had written to the editor how when his wife was critically ill, the doctor from upper class denied providing her medical facilities because of the predominant problem of the untouchability. It was the experience of a person in Kathiawar. The sixth part of waiting for visa covers the experiences of a bhangi boy at Kasarwadi because of his higher education and talent in him, he had got the job of Talati. But the prevailing caste system and the untouchability in the society had to force him to leave the job. He had left the job and returned his home. Through all the six parts, what Dr. Ambedkar tells us is that the problem of untouchability and its evidences and experiences now and then in his life forced him 
to be more sensitive towards the problems of the common people and that is why he decided to work on the severe problem of untouchability in India. Dear students, thus we have to learn that Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was an eminent educationist, lawyer, barrister, public speaker, social reformer and great writer. He is the man behind the Indian constitution, the father of Indian constitution. He has written many books. One of his autobiographical writing, Waiting for Visa, is about the problem of untouchability. In it, he covers six types of different experiences regarding untouchability and at the end he says that he became more sensitive towards the problem of untouchability in India. I hope you will like this video. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.